There's so many uh, memorable moments and images in this film. I wondered what your most memorable or funniest moment from filming was. Yeah, there's a, there's a scene in which I did a bit of a stunt and basically ended up not doing the stunt too well and instead of doing it clear, I actually whacked my head on something, everyone burst out laughing. And so I just, yeah, had to take it and yeah, it was fun. What was it like, like, doing those kind of scenes and stunts and stuff? Like, how did that compare to what you'd done before and how much sort of, like, prep did you have to do? Amazing, because I've, I've never really done, like, any stunts before, to be honest. Like, you know, I didn't really have to do much prep because, you know, the stunt guys on set were amazing and they just kind of took me through the paces of exactly what I needed to, to do and like those are the fun moments in which, you know, you're, you can forget all, all dialogue, you, think, you can forget, you know, being in a certain headspace and just really focus on killing that physical performance. How were you with bloopers? Were there any moments that had you cracking up? Like cracking up? No, because it, like the, the film is, the, the genre of the film and when you're in these scenes, you're in such a clear headspace of this world, of the purge, and you know, at no point you're always thinking at any moment I can I can be killed. Like there's people out here in which are out here to do whatever they want, this destruction. And so we're we're in a really strong headspace where you know we're we're, we're just involved in the scene in which we're in. That intensity is you remember this is this is is a horror. Like this is a you know what I mean this is a like it's thriller, it's horror. It's you want the audience to feel immersed in, in what it is in which we're trying to bring to the table and so we have to be in a position where we're trying to create that environment and and at all times we're, we're trying to keep you in this world in which we're in and it has to be as believable as this world is. So speaking of horror moments, I mean, do you have a favourite scary moment in this film? Yes, uh, my favourite scary moment would be when Isaiah first is in the position where he decides that he's gonna purge. Like, as a character, the choice in which he's making to basically risk his life to be in a position where he's going to, for, for what he's gonna gain out of it, risking your life, is it really worth it? And that's a scary thing in which he has to come to terms with. And he decides that, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. And that that's the scariest moment for that character. And it feels as close to what it would be like in this day and age and, you know, like, uh, the other purges which are set in the future and, and it's advanced, this is very much now, this is very much okay if you had a kid on the projects of New York and he's selling drugs and you know he's immersed in this world, what would happen in that scenario? This Skeletor is a very scary character. So this is the fourth Purge movie mm -hmm. and we still want to see more. I mean, would you be up for a sequel? I would definitely be up for a sequel, yeah, I've, I've loved working on this project and I hope to be able to do many more with this, you know, with Blumhouse as a company, with, you know, Gerard as a director, with James as a creator, and with the amazing casting which I worked with. I mean, what would you like to see next? I was thinking like maybe a London set one. I would love to see a purge set in London. How do you think a UK based one would be different? I think people would be, I feel like in the UK we're a lot more reserved than, than, than in the US, and so I thought like we, we would think a lot more about the decisions in which we're gonna make and it would be a lot more difficult for us to actually commit to purging. At the same time, you don't actually know what people are thinking because everyone's got their own, you know, vendettas and things in which they want to do. And if you look at even stuff like the London riots, you know, people are, are when they have an opportunity to, to capitalise on something, they do do it. So at the same time, I'd like to think that everyone would stay at home and no one would purge, but I haven't got a clue, man. And that's, that, that would be the fun of watching the film.